Hello, this is Kurt from Grand Purpose Piano. I'm in the process of taking the strings off this Harrington Grand Piano that we just got in. Uh, the piano's in for um, restringing with a new pin block, new dampers, damper uh, soundboard scraped and shimmed, um, new action parts, and, and that sort of stuff. So what I'm doing right now is I'm showing that I'm taking a look at the string configuration. I want to make sure that I put this thing back um, the same way it came apart. Um, my book over here that I have with all the different string um, scales does not have this model in its um, inside it. So I have to take all my measurements. I have to use a micrometer and go through all these strings and find out what the string scale is. And then I register it. I have a blank page um, here that I that I work with and I'll go ahead and put the name of the piano and then I'll start doing all the strings uh, finding out what their different sizes are and how many there are so right now I'm taking a close look and I just wanna I'm gonna be making note of this there's a tie over here in the last section you can see not a very good one at that but there's a tie there and then in this next section over here there's a tie up over here All right. And then there's a tie over here. All right, that one there, and then that one there. So now, when you do this, not only do you want to find out what where the ties are, but then you want to look at the configuration on the hitch pin itself. So now I'm getting down to the lower treble area, and you could see how the string will wrap around one of the hitch pins, but here it's wrapping around two hitch pins, and then one hitch pin, one hitch pin, two hitch pins one one two so there's a little bit of a pattern here going on and this is so it all lines up with the bridges all right so i'm going to be making note of um this sort of a configuration how it works out because uh you, know, you don't want to miss one of these you'll mess up and everything won't line up and it won't be spaced properly you'll have to redo it so instead of redoing it you double check all your notes and make sure that everything's right okay so i'm gonna that's what i'm going to be doing here taking a close look at the piano and gonna get a picture of it in this area over here and when it's all done boy oh boy it's gonna be beautiful alright well thanks for visiting this is Kurt at Grand Purpose Piano